Well, good morning, guys. Welcome over to the Neverlander channel. Today, we are checking out the Spring Hill Suites just outside of Disney property across from Flamingo Crossings, an area we frequented where we have stayed at many of the other Marriott and Hilton hotels just located here conveniently across the street from a Target of Five Guys, all kinds of great places to uh, stop if you're staying here. It's, it's, this is a great area, quiet, convenient, uh, but the question is, do we like the hotel? We're going to show you around. I'll give you some uh, insight, show you the room, but also tell you whether or not this is a place for you and your family. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't do that yet. Watch the video and then make a determination. I, I hate when people do that at the very beginning. Take a look at the video and let us know at the end if you appreciate it. If you did like it, give us a thumbs up. If not, check out another video. Check out our hotels and resorts uh, playlist and let's go. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations. So the Spring Hill Suites is located just adjacent to the Town Place Suites. And we have stayed at both properties at this point. I do have one that I recommend over the other. So you'll notice that right over here, uh, everybody's waiting in line for the bus to show up to take them to the theme parks, which is a question we always get. Do they have offer transportation to the theme parks? And yes, they do. Here in the guest drop-off area, covered parking clean in here let's head inside i'll show you around it's going to be very busy because it is breakfast time and everybody is taking advantage of the decent breakfast that they they offer but a nice lobby nice waiting room the staff here has been awesome i do really like the uh starbucks uh area located just inside where you can get legit starbucks coffee they do have um some really good Mickey Mouse waffles. They are uh, red velvet. So they got all kinds of things to eat included in the uh, price of your hotel room, including Mickey Mouse waffles. That's pretty crowded. Uh, that we ate here yesterday morning. Food was decent. We got some bagels. Buddy. Turkey sausage, regular sausage. Here's the turkey sausage. I prefer this. The uh, eggs came with tomatoes. Yesterday they were bell peppers and stuff. That was good. They got chocolate. Mickey waffles today. And Best apple cinnamon muffin. That looks good. And Carmen's over here crushing his cereals. Anyway, the food is, um, it's decent. Price is right. Not that's important. He's wrong, I'm right. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and uh, lots of seating. Got uh, some restrooms back here, some meeting rooms this way. So if you do have a company and you, to, you need to uh, run out a ballroom, they have that as an available option. One cool feature to point out is they do have chargers on the tables. So if you need to use them for uh, laptops, of course, charge your phone in the morning. That's a nice functionality. Got a computer area back there. And because uh, they, you do share the pool area with the hotel next door, um, you do have to have a key card to get in. But the pool itself, decent size. Uh, we swam last night, it is heated. Uh, it's got a traditional walk-in beach style. No sand, but if you've got some uh, young kids, you can see it's, uh, it's only one foot right there. It does go down to 2.9 feet right there, so they can, they can hang out and walk quite a distance before it starts to get a little scary, but you as a parent can just kind of sit down and enjoy the water. The uh, Flamingo Bar and Grill, decent food, um, not overly priced. Uh, we ate the pizza here, that was okay. Um, 
Um, what else did we get? Oh, the buffalo wings weren't too bad. Soft flavor, soft buffalo sauce. Quesadillas were pretty heavy, but decent. But uh, the bar at night gets hopping. You can go inside there as well. Um, that is the uh, indoor seating. It's closed currently. I will say the hotel, for the most part, is pretty quiet. Um, our room was up at the top, uh, and we faced the pool, but we didn't hear any of the pool, any of the kids splash around and stuff in the evenings, which was nice. That's always a concern. I don't know what that would be like being down at the, uh, on the lower levels. We got a ping pong table for you, lounge area to hang out and enjoy. These cushions are pretty eaten up. That's needs to get replaced. Got a spa back here. Yeah, there's a 15 minute timer. I'm trying to see if there is a uh, number, maximum amount of people. I don't see it, but I'd say about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 people. And then it would start to feel a little crowded. But checking out the gym, do need your key card. Again, something else I like. Decent size, guys. We've got towels back here for you. And uh, all kinds of machines, some free weights, ellipticals, treadmills. This has been something that's become more and more important to us as we get older. <laughs> Kristen has began working out a lot more, and uh, I need to as well. Um, so this is this is great to see. Uh, it is Sunday morning. A lot of people heading to the parks. It's about 8:30 a.m. and uh, so give you an idea what the gym looks like on an 8:30 time slot on a Sunday. Pretty dead. I'm just outside the gym. If you wrap around to the other side, there's a small arcade for the kids. But I do like all the lounge seating. That's nice. Got some barbecue units back here in the back. That's that's pretty cool. Same thing, need the key card here as well. I think it's unlocking. Maybe it doesn't unlock. Oh, there we go. You got some air hockey, a couple uh, card games, some, some smaller ones for the kids. Claw machines and Jurassic Park game as well. For those of you that drive Jeeps, this would be a good one to have in your car. Okay, so $10 is 10 credits. And so this is a dollar to play. Dollar, looks like everything is a dollar. What about this one? Yep, dollar. So everything's one dollar to get through. Uh, so in a matter of 10 minutes, maybe. I will say that I noticed some of the tiles as we were walking through here were shifting on the edge of the pool, um, but not so much so that it seemed dangerous, so. But something that could be better maintained. Do you have a bunch of pool noodles and blow up balls and stuff like that that I noticed the kids were playing with last night? So that's kind of nice to know that they have those out here for the kids. Anyway, let's head back inside. So we'll tell you that at 9.30 a.m. they shut these doors. Breakfast does end promptly. Um, they'll let you back in if you need a cup of coffee or something like that. But for the most part, it's over when they say that it's over. Right next to registration, they've got a uh, rice and herbies. I've never heard of that, but a frozen yogurt stand. And then a very small convenience gift shop. You can get some of your food, snacks. They do have a couple things here. Claritin, that seems to be a big one right now. Uh, came down here for some tono clippers, didn't have that. But they got the necessities. And of course, if you need a nightcap, you can get that as well. Got an ATM machine with uh, attraction tickets and concierge service right here. Give you a Walt Disney World map if you need it. Get all kinds of information. All right, you gotta check out this elevator. Yeah, we'll go here first. Oh, my goodness. Millennium Falcon. How cool is that? So when we first walked in, I was immediately like, okay, I like this. Pretty cool. 
All right, so our room has a very interesting layout, so I definitely want to show you guys that. But I just want to point this out. As you get off of the elevator, I this is a bad sign. It's, a, it's not that it's a bad sign. Look, people get done with their towels. They put their trash out. For the most part, the hallways are clean. They're clean. That's been like that for a long time. So maybe not the norm, but just point it out anyway. Today we are in room 1629. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Oh, 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 wait, what? What? So Kristen was sitting here on the ledge. And as I mentioned earlier, we do have a pool view. We're up on the sixth floor. This is nice. What I always like about these is you've got the option of those curtains and then the blackouts which is nice. That's nice. We've got everything open though. So this is my family. Hi family. Hi everybody. It's good to see you again. Uh, pretend to have a good time and act like you like each other. So that way nobody judges us in this vlog. Thanks. Got a little table here. We're, uh, we've packed everything. <laughs> and action. Got a little table here. We've got everything on the top of the table. This is Kristen. She's my the wife. The table was and actually she'll... over here. Oh, is that what's going on? I don't know. Did You guys must have moved that quick. We did move it so that we oh. could make the bed, but it was, it was right here. Oh, okay. So there's like two pieces. two tables, so you can ah, move yes, it around. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. This is Lloyd. Uh, okay, go sit down. Why are you turned away from the, the table? Oh, you guys are at the table? I'm, I'm going to be another table. All right, so this couch right here does turn into a bed. Here's a quick shot of that. Ian, you slept on the bed. What did you think? Was it comfortable? Uh, I can't really give my honest opinion because I didn't feel good the whole time we were you, in this hotel. Good. So. so I'll give my honest opinion. I climbed up on it uh, while I was kind of it's putting nice. it back together again. It's not nice. It was very... It's old. It feels old. I asked him if he I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to sleep on it. I asked him if he wanted to uh, do the air mattress instead yeah. of the bed, and he said no. Okay. Um, but let's just say for a minute that he had wanted to sleep on the air mattress. There is so much room for it right there. Yeah. Or right here. Right here. Or over there. In the center. There's a lot of room, this uh, room is in this room. Massive. Yeah. I don't think that every room is going to be this size, but we are at the very end of our hallway, and we don't have anybody around us so we have two yeah. windows which makes it feel very open and bright yeah um i would always ask for room 1629 i, I know seriously <laughs> i do like uh, the spring hill suites how they always have like an, a dedicated office space like that and you've got a phone from 1987 which is great in case you need to call your mom but uh taking a look at everything here you do have a standard that's actually a smaller than standard uh, microwave you get your coffee with some royal cup stuff and uh, small mini fridge. The uh, TV itself is nice. The drawers, decent size. It's great because you can cast. You can cast from your phone, iPads, whatever, to the television. So you can yeah, have that's your nice. Netflix, HBO, whatever it is that you watch at home. You can watch it on the TV. That's Not good stuff. Room has those. I know. These are what queens. queens. These are queens. But again, like plenty of room could put the blow up mattress here. We never ended up using it, but you can see like as I walk around, look at the size of this room guys. It's, it's decent size. I do like this. Yeah, that's my favorite thing in this room. You got an actual closet. We strip all of the bedding and everything off. Um, if you're new to our channel, we do that as a courtesy, but also to make sure that the kids didn't leave stuff on the bed. So uh, yeah, tip number 187 if you are a parent but plenty of storage we put everything up there which is great to be able to walk in to um a, a closet space like this this is excellent and you hang your stuff got an iron ironing board of course um but you can keep everything out of the way and typically i usually get everything in the car before i show you guys the room but because there literally is so much room in here um yeah it it's it was not a Necessity. Let's take a look at the view from here. There's a uh, flamingo. What do they call this? Flamingo what? It's flamingo crossing. This is that's wow. the flamingo crossings. The, the best place to stay if you are not staying on property. Let me tell you, <laughs> I love this place. If you haven't already, take a look at our uh, resort and hotel 
comp we've stayed the compilation. Home. We've stayed at the homes too, at the uh, Homewood Suites. There's I like that hotel over there a lot. That is like, it looks like. That's the courtyard by Marriott over there. And, and, free, and it looks target. like a mini Grand yeah. Floridian. It does look like a mini it's Grand It's beautiful Floridian. and the rooms are fantastic, don't super spacious. And don't forget the Target. We're All trying right. to show you how you much. Make sure you don't forget the Target. <laughs> We're trying to show you our experience. Should I show them the Target? Here. Yeah, you should probably show them. And we've also seen the hotel target. across the, the way from us. This is getting off the rails. Like everybody's talking, people are gonna thumbs down this like crazy. If you haven't already subscribed, like I said at the beginning, continue to watch. It gets better. Oh, show them the target. Okay, there it is, right over there. It's, it's a mini target. target, right there. Yeah, they don't have everything. There's a dog park target. over there. Did you guys know there's a target over here? So just across the way over there um, is the uh, Disney. What do they call those? Like that's where the college program kids live. Yeah, right over there. Yeah. But there's another like there's like apartments or something over here and Same over thing. there. So I almost wonder if they built them more. I don't know. Because possibly it's a lot. But you'll yeah. see it's so fun because there's Starbucks over here. Yeah. And you can go into the Starbucks in the morning and then you'll see kids in their Animal Kingdom attire. Yeah, getting ready to um, go to work. One time I saw on TikTok somebody saw Phantasmic Mickey in his costume. Oh really? Yes. No, they didn't. Yes, they you did. can't wear that outside of work. Well, he was wearing it. He was out there. Until must have been his last day. Food. All right, so you got a full length mirror, which is always nice. So yeah. you could always check your girlish figure before you get what? You forgot to show them the target over there. Oh, let me show them the target. Uh, okay, bathroom, sliding door. What I like is there is an X. Yes, it can lock. Um, but there's an extra bar right there. Sometimes with the sliding doors, it's very easy to see in, and you don't want to. People to look at you while you're pooping. That's happened to me before. Nice sink. I'm always a fan of these. Um, literally, you can see everything, every uh, problem with your face as you're doing stuff. Got some storage. We used all the uh, tissues. It's <laughs> season. Stop beating each other up. So uh, the shower pressure, not the greatest. I'm going to start going over the things that we didn't like. Um, Ian, this, I don't know if he broke this. He, I'm not, I, I, listen, I wasn't in here. You said that you went to use it and it like fell right off. Yeah. So that's that. Um, this is broken. Broken. Yeah, very crappy. So he there's. He locked himself in there and I had to help him. You can check me to have it unlocked. This is pretty bad. It's weird. This is coming off. So there's little things um, that it's, the AC unit is old. Really you run everything from, yeah, it works really good, so I'm not complaining about that. You got the little tea lights, which is always a good thing. Oh, and we did get a pack in play, so let me give you a shot of what that looked like next to the bed. Still plenty of room, uh, which is great. Oh, and they came in and they set everything up for us. That was nice. What did we notice? There's just little nicks and scratches and things like that. Um, I didn't notice anything that's extravagantly awful. Like, yeah. The room doesn't smell bad. There isn't, um, I mean, the water pressure sucks, but the water is hot and it is no. cold. And um, I love the layout of the bathroom. I really do. I wish there was a door here to like block off the pooper. <laughs> to block off the pooper, yeah. But the layout, <laughs> that would be nice if there was a door there because you could, you know, people could continue getting ready in the morning. That right, but morning. the layout is great. Yeah. Like it, it is a very spacious bathroom for yeah. a hotel room. Yeah. And I don't know. it. It is. It just it, it's just nicks and things that are broken. Like this is yeah. This and this is, is this this is the most inconvenient part. Well, that oh, could have happened with the people that were in the last room. There is something that I wanted to say too. Okay. Um, I am the early riser. I am the mom. I get up before everybody else, and I was so concerned that me getting ready in the morning would uh, wake everybody up because this. Let's all of the light out into the room. Did anybody else notice? That? Okay, so I'm glad that you mentioned that because was I was so going to say bright. something about it. Yeah, it. Well, it's not crazy bright, but when you do have the shades drawn and everything, and it's dark in here, and you're sleeping, when you've gotten up in the morning, yes, the light is coming through. That is kind of a bummer, especially with um, like the fact that it's, it's shining yeah. right across over to the beds. Correct. Walls are clean. I like this. Uh, you got some scratching over here, but the pictures themselves. I, it's, this is really big. I need to get a shot from over here too. That's nice. And to be able to, to be able to walk in and like everything is off to the side. I will say that we didn't hear anybody above us because there's nobody up there. But I did hear uh, people next to us the second night we were here. Did not. I, you cannot hear the kids 
swimming, screaming, yelling, any of that. Did not hear anybody in the hallway, didn't hear anybody over here. So final rating, what would you say? I would give it an eight. I, I think it's great location, great price. Parking is only- What was price? What was the price? Um, well- Sorry. I know we, we did, we had, we didn't have to pay for one night because- Yeah, we well, used points. If we were, if we were doing that pass holder special, it would have been 135 per night. That's really cheap, man. And, but I don't know what the going, I think the going rate was like 158 or something like Still that. If, cheap. if you were Marriott. Yeah. Um, but again, we didn't get those prices because we had to pay full price for the one night. And then I think it was, I don't know, but it's only $10 for parking. And I'm telling you that that's a steal because anywhere at Disney Springs that you're going to stay, minimum of $25 a day yeah, for parking. Yeah, typically 25 bucks. Um, we've stayed at other Marriott properties that are $17 a day, $22 a day. So $10 a day, I don't want to pay for parking at all. I think it's chintzy, especially since there's no security guard. Just include guard. it in the price of the... Yeah. But $10 a day... You have to park your car. It's a steal. So um, I'm going to end by saying I did not sleep well in the beds. They're not super comfortable, but they're not they're not crazy uncomfortable. Could be that's queen used to. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king guy. Coming from, we were at the Drury Hotels uh, before this. I did sleep better there. But overall, yeah, I think an 8 out of 10 is a, is a fair, it's a fair score. Location is great. You're just outside of the properties if you are not familiar with the Flamingo Crossings area. I think if you stay at any of these hotels, you'll be very satisfied. It is the closest. As, as far, you will be very satisfied as far as uh, location goes. These are the closest main gate hotels. When you say main gate, yeah. um, they are good. They are Disney good neighbor hotels, but main gate means that they are literally right out of the entrance to property. Um, anything that you're gonna see off of four, they technically are not going into Disney property. They're going into Disney Springs and then property. So these are the closest main gate hotels. If you want to stay as close to Disney property as possible without actually being on Disney property, Flamingo Crossings is the closest. All right, so that does it. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't watch another one or go check out somebody else's channel, just don't leave us a negative comment. That hurts our hearts. Or if you didn't like it, leave us a reason why. Um, if you've stayed here, share your experience with us. If you have any additional questions, we're happy to answer those. Thanks so much for uh, checking out our channel and we'll see you guys in the next theme park, hotel, outing, I don't know. All right, be good to each other. See you, bye. And did you guys know there's a Target over there?